Hello, welcome. My name is Ben Pemble. Today I'm joined by fellow Positive Impact Golf Coach Julian Meller. Um, today we're going to uh, explain how we'd like the body to move during a golf swing. We've had a lot of uh, inquiries about how the front, what the front foot should do during a golf swing. Should it stay down? Should it come up? How should it move? So I'm going to pass you over to Julian, who's going to hopefully explain. Hello. Um, you're quite right Ben, we've had a lot of inquiries about this subject and what, what the, the left foot should do within the backswing if you're right-handed. Uh, so I'm just going to explain to you a thing, it's called the kinetic chain. It's basically how your body is designed to move as a human being. And it starts with the ankle. The ankle is hypermobile, really really good at moving around. Then we've got your knee which is generally just an in, a hinge joint, it just moves backwards and forwards ideally. Then we've got your hips, which are high, uh, very mobile. They're really designed to move and twist. Then we've got your lower lumbar spine, which is a fairly stable joint, supported through the pelvis. Then we've got the T-spine or the thoracic spine, which is again, is really good for mobility. And then we've got the neck, which is actually supporting the head. So that's a fairly stable joint. So I just want to demonstrate to you what happens if we keep the front foot still. Um, so if I move naturally and keep my front foot still, my left knee is going to do one of two things. Number one, it might move as it's designed to, so it's going to hinge. Can you see what's now happened to my weight? My weight's tended to stay on, on my left side or even move further forward. That in turn has locked my hips up. My lower back has now become mobile, which is something that we're not really looking for within a golf swing. And then we've got the T-spine, which now locks up, and my neck becomes strained. So if I keep my front foot still, my knee bends forward, my weight stays forward, my hips lock up, my T-spine isn't moving as it should do. Now, if your knee doesn't do that, it's going to do something else which we don't really want it to do, and it's going to move inwards. You see how that's now starting to put a lot of strain on my knee and if we think about the golfing yeah. generation at the moment, there, there's a lot of golfers getting injured. So the amount of knee replacements so I'm having people come to me. Absolutely Ben, so, yeah I mean Tiger Woods is a great example exactly, isn't he? Exactly. Great example. So if my knee now moves in, that locks my hips up again, my uh, lower back becomes mobile so we've got a lower back injury again, yeah. Tiger Woods, multiple lower back injuries. T-spine doesn't move very well and then my neck is locked up again. You can really hear that in your voice, Julian. It, it's, it's not strain. I had so much tension to my golf swing. You know, the number one enemy of, of golfers and the golf swing is tension. tension. Let's tension. let's try and keep that to a minimum. So what should the ankle do? Ideally, it's gonna move freely within the golf swing. Now that does not hurt one little bit, which is so important. The other thing that's happening now is it links into the six principles of what we coach, which are turning, we've got weight, weight shift, shift, we've got the rhythm, coordination, balance, and suplex. Yes. Exactly what we're looking for within the golf swing. Yeah. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, or you'd like to know any more information about positive impact coaching, by all means get in touch with us, my, my contact details on my website is juliemellogolfschool.co.uk Yeah, mine is benpemble.golf.weebly.com um, Yeah, any, any help, any advice, please get in contact with both of us. Um, hope to hear from you soon. Many thanks. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye.